Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Lake of Creatures, a fishing action roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Shoot'em Up Fest. In we're gonna go to see what that means. I've been looking forward to this one for a little bit here. Citizens, I have terrible news. Our precious town and its lakes have been infested by monsters. <gasps> These creatures are unlike anything we've seen before. They seem to carry toxic chemicals. I'm afraid they're mutated because of the polluted lakes, Brown. Take a look at this hideous fish. This miserable thing has gained a third eye. To prevent these monstrosities from taking over our village, we must form an extermination crew. I'm asking everyone here to take action. If you have any useful gear, such as fishing rods, nets, lures, firearms, explosives, or machetes, you should consider joining the team. Everyone who participates is rewarded with badges. Now be safe on your expeditions and make use of anything helpful you might stumble upon. Save the lakes from mutated creatures, catch fish to make money, find and purchase treasures to survive the encounters. Okay. Interesting, one moment. Okay, so we got move, shoot, melee, interact with F, reload with R, E and Q for next weapon, which, wait. Oh my. Uh, what on earth? Okay. All right. In we freaking go. Okay, so we have the melee. Is the melee like really good at, you know, like, does it do like double damage or something? Cast your fishing line to catch fish. Hello? Ooh, what? Okay, so we like whip this around. Interesting. And then we hold down to get that bar to show up, and then we have to do like a little action command. <laughs> Holds it up <laughs> like a dating profile. So we get that's how we get our money. Interesting. Uh that's a heart. Okay. Does it cost a key or does it not look like it? Blaster. Okay, so we do have to... Okay, we we are out of heart by doing it, but the fact is, I saw the heart there, so I knew we wouldn't be out too. What is that? Also, this is weird. This is not me pressing any buttons, by the way. This... Boom. If we hold the same direction for a little bit, we get a big burst of speed, but otherwise our movement speed is really low. It feels a little... A little odd. Like, in combat, I feel like that burst of speed is actually going to be more harmful than it is helpful. Damage up! Hey, I'm never gonna fight getting a damage up as like a first item in a in a game like this. So I don't know, can we scare the fish? Actually, I just I'm not gonna I don't wanna risk it. Okay, hold on. Can we can <laughs> I'm trying. Cause we can't uh, to be clear, we can't charge up this the throw. We have to rely on the, the goofy little physics there. Oh. oh, that's actually pretty clever. That is a clever little mechanic. So, he is worth more, but he also, like, shot bullets at us? Sir? Okay, back it up. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. I guess you we would get good at this, in theory. The casting. Oh, he got angry. All right. Got a little bit more money. Looks like we have a very limited amount of... Is that an exit? We can go on land there? Okay, let's explore first. We might actually be done exploring. I have so many questions in such a small amount of time for this game. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I like the, the idea, though. The The loop is it's quite interesting. I mean, I guess out we go. Okay, so it's just like the level exit. Understood. What do we got here? Oh! I got some kind of special hearts. Obviously a chest that we could just get some spikes and then be fine. Um, okay. I got another one of those. Two out of three. There's also some fish in here, so I'll go for it. And I'm gonna... Can I catch him inside and then, like, the bullets get caught? 
Oh, baby. Oh, he's got bouncy bullets. It's absolutely the right call, though. Okay, hold on. Uh, come on now. There we go. Grab it, big boy. Come on, you know you want it. You are doing loop-de-loops around it. Come on, dude. What is your plan? I think he might be gone, and honestly, I'm fine with it. He's, <laughs> he's driving me a little crazy. All right. Moon. I haven't the foggiest idea. I guess I'll try. It could be machete. <laughs> you know, it kind of looks like the machetes. Nope. I have no clue what that means. I mean, there's definitely, like, some Isaac influence here. It could be, like, um... I mean, that's just 30 bucks. Seems worth it. There's a fish in there, even, too. Like, it could be a good one. Come on. Come on, there. Here, fishy. Here, fishy. Thank you. Nine bucks. Oh. Oh. So worth it. So worth it. And we got a shop up here you 80 bucks for that or five five bait where does it show my bait do i have five bait apparently not multi-purpose grease fire rate up i mean sure looks like we have a refresh there i mean but i don't also don't really have any money I want to use this fancy gun, but it's like, it looks like it's limited. What's going on here? Ooh, free key. It was saying like, oh, you don't know if there's going to be spikes under there. I think that that's what that's about. What is that? What does this mean? I have no idea. I can't get over it. I can't melee it. Okay. So that's where the gold things went. Is that the boss? Oh, I think that those are like, you know, they're kind of like keys before you can leave the level. I have no idea. Let's go with the spring. Blast shot. Okay. Can I, like... Nope. I have no idea what that's about. Okay, so we can still explore down south. There was that other chest. A hundred bucks to get in there. That better be good. I saw there's the glowing thing. Hopefully it still comes with. God, that was my big gun. Boop. So there's no, like, normal dash. We can use the machete to kind of, like, use an impromptu dash. Come on there. Back it up. Back it up. We might anger this fish. Rainbow truck. Double keys! Come on, you. Come on, you there. Go! This guy looks like he's not as big of a deal. Alright. Got so many keys. Okay, good. That does stay. Yeah, I, I think that that's what we need to do to uh, in order to leave. I don't want to lose whatever this special heart is. I don't know if it's just like a normal... Um... Yeah, I don't know what this is either. I'm going to try it. Like, maybe we have to use special... Nope. Q... No clue. No clue. Bunch of extra hearts. Nothing to do with them right now. I could do this. I feel like I'm... It's not going to be worth it right now. Question mark. That's a hundred bucks. I think we're out of here. So what was this key thing? That was this that I don't know how to do anything with right now. I don't know. Okay. And I... This was a choice. 
All right, just making sure. Just making sure before we move on. Okay, the last one's there. And then we had an extra heart here as well. Is this a boss? No, this is. What that? What the hell? Okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up. I don't know if I think that that... Is that gun even better than that? No, our standard gun is better. Our standard gun is actually, like, really good. Is that a sausage? Grilled sausage. Re regeneration. Oh my god. That sp <laughs> speed up is going to get me killed. So this is so we could go... We could go back. That's kind of clever. I don't think I want to. Oh, you can only go back once. Ooh! See? I don't know that I think that that is very helpful. That, like, move really slow and then get a huge burst of speed thing. I don't know that that's a helpful thing. I, I find, like... As much as I am very slow by default, I think I would rather be slow than have a speed that changes. Okay, one sec. All right, so we got bait. I, I don't know where uh, our bait amount is listed. It's gotta be spikes, yep. Move past it once and then there's spikes forever, presumably. It's just gone. 80 bucks. I guess I'll come back for that. Oh, it's like I can take the rubber duck or the thing that I don't know. I'll take the rubber duck. Swap. I don't know what got swapped. Yeah, so many blockades. I mean, like, I, it feels... It's kind of refreshing in a way to be like, yeah, I don't know what the hell this is about. It, it actually just feels like, you know, like an action rogue, like, in a more nostalgic way. Can we, like, get this in there? We can cheat. We don't have to... I mean, I might. it might be worth the uh, the money two keys for 30 you would think would be a really good deal but not when i have as many keys as i have it feels refreshing to just not be playing like another like horde survival game and it's kind of just like oh he has got piercing bullets he's a genius huh and play kind of like a, you know like a dungeon crawly bullet heli roguelike that's doing some new stuff okay i'm not leaving yet thank you though My bullet seems nasty. So these are poison fumes. It's a little bit tricky to um, to see them on the green. Another, like, spirit heart. I don't get this. Here, come on. You're driving me mad, dude. Come here, back it up, back it up, back it up. Come on, you gotta go for it. One of these days, you gotta go for it. Oh, Click down my freaking window, trying to go for the biggest uh, wind-up imaginable. You touched it! Come on! Thank you. What have I done? I thought there was maybe a chance that... Uh, that was what we needed to do to, like, break this? I still don't know. Ghost of the lake. Ghost bullets. So wait, now our bullets go through walls. I feel like maybe I could clip over, but then I don't know if I could clip over back. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of, like, overflowing for keys. I'm not sure if I want to take the damage here right now. I don't really need keys too much right now. I'll go pick up whatever this is. Oh, oh, it changed. Oh, that's what the swap did. It rerolled everything on the floor. Interesting. I mean, I'll take an ore. Speed up. Gotcha. 
All right. So it's like maybe, yeah, there's definitely some some Isaac influence, to say the least. Uh, but in a way that I uh, really appreciate. Every fifth shot does two times damage. Okay, let's get out of here. The only thing that I'm rubbing up against is this uh, the movement thing. We even, like, we don't have a normal dash, but in a way we kind of do with the machete. So, like, I don't know if that was intentional, but if it is, like, props, because it's kind of, like, really fun to dash around using the machete. All right, back it up, back it up. I want the bait. Get him. Go. Go. And it's like, it's a really, I don't know, the uh, the fish catching is reminding me of, like, uh, Patch Quest. Like, taming monsters in that. Where you do have to, you do the normal fishing, oh my god, fishing minigame, but you're also doing the bullet hell dodging at the same time as the way that they get combined. Oh, that's a slightly more red heart. My bullets are kind of crazy at this point. This is more red heart as well. Don't touch the poison. Uh, splash. Fire mode. Fire mode swap plus three times ammo plus what? Not sure. Ow. That coin did damage to me. Keys be gone. What? Yeah, I don't know where my bait is listed. 44 bucks. I could check out the shop, but I feel like I just know that we're going to need 80 bucks-ish. Okay. What's... What have I done? It's a moon chest. I don't have a gun, but I also don't know what... I am a hacker. I'm at negative one keys. <laughs> oh, God, I got a scorcher. Oh, God. Oh, God, my burst fire. I think my burst fire ruined this flamethrower. Oh, God, I think my burst fire ruined this flamethrower. <laughs> Harpoon gun. Now that seems fun. Okay, so because I pressed that button, all the switches across the whole map changed? That's kind of like, uh, it's almost puzzle gamey. I didn't kill that, did I? Yeah, okay. Oh! See, the burst movement speed there pushed me off the map. It lost me a little bit, a little bit of something, something. Not a big deal. Yeah. Fish? No fish? I did see the chest. It won't go away, theoretically. I feel very strong. I think my like my normal gun is just really strong. It feels like I'm not too compelled. Hold on, this was uh there was a heart. Oh, is it gone? This. Trade a heart to do something. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh my god. The I <laughs> just this burst of movement speed thing. Is gonna make me tear my hair out. It it makes it so it's awkward because it's like it's nice to traverse around moon. What are you talking about? My only guess is like based off of Isaac, like low low HP, and we can get into that. That's the best guess I have. But, like, relying... Oh... I, I did not realize how much I was uh, screwing myself out of by pressing that button. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't know what that question mark, question mark thing was all about. Understandably, it was... Supposed to be question marks. Okay, so that's locked based off of time. Why did this just explode in money? Minus... Okay, so that... Okay. 
I got 80 bucks, exactly. I'll buy whatever this is. Coal. Combusting enemies. Don't mind if I do. That's a heart or something? I got some kind of fancy golden heart thing here. Where was our exit? Okay. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, these are literally just like, you need to collect them, I guess, to uh, to leave, seems to be the, the thing. Okay. My damage is unbelievable. My damage is stupid. What have I done? What have I done? Toxic fish. Let's just tap move. We done with the demo? We're not. This is a juicy demo. Wait, what happened to my health? Oh, we are done. Okay. <laughs> I got, you, you got me. Thank you for playing the demo wishlist on Steam. Get notified when the game releases. I I will. I, I think it has a lot of promise. I think that there is... It's, there's one, the one issue I have, and it is unfortunately going to be one that's like very relevant to lots of, lots of players, is just the core movement feels a little bit, it's a little finicky. I think like in an attempt to do something new, it accidentally tried to like reinvent base movement in a game like this in a way that doesn't work. But everything else is really good, and that I think is a, is a nice thing. I think that the base movement should be a little bit higher, and that burst of speed should be a little bit less drastic, because it leads to a situation where you move at a crawl, and then all of a sudden you get a huge burst of speed, and then you'll run into spikes. Or you're trying to like narrowly, slightly move through some bullets, and then you'll get a burst of speed, and you'll just run face first into a different bullet. And that feels kind of awkward in a bullet hell environment. Um where you're going to be like, sometimes you're just going to want to like, you want consistency in, in your movement patterns. I think that maybe the, like the way that I would think to do it is like, just don't have that burst of speed thing available outside of, I don't know, outside of combat or something. Like, I feel like the movement speed was really nice out of combat for getting around the map quicker instead of like a teleport system. I think that that was kind of nice, but yeah, anytime in combat or like trying to move through little spikes or even sometimes moving between rooms out of combat and then like, oh, I moved into a room that had spikes, but I'm going at a million miles an hour because I was dashing in the other screen. Like those situations feel a little bit funky. I would like to see that changed personally. Uh, I'm not saying it should be. I would like to see that changed, but I would happily play more of this even if it wasn't and just try and get used to it. But it feels a little bit weird. But since there's not like a more, more traditional dodge roll or dash or something like that, like the best that you have is using your machete to get a little bit of a dash, which may be intended. You need to make sure that your base movement is at least very predictable, uh, bare minimum. But alas, alas, it's very cool. Uh, you know, good demo. I was gonna say a third zone seemed seemed shockingly meaty uh, for what we had here. It's very cool though. I like it. It it feels nostalgic, like. I don't know. So many action roguelikes coming out right now are just the same old, same old horde survival thing. Back to back to back. It's nice to get kind of like a throwback to a, an Isaac or a Gungeon flavor of one. And and one that I think is very good. With the movement changes, I think this one's a banger. I really do. Uh, alas, alas, that's that. That's good to read it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes more every single day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.